myself on a daily basis. I had like three scales in the house. I would weigh myself in the morning and then uh, in the evening when I came home, I would weigh again to see what my uh, weight was or if it had changed or stayed the same. When you have I might be going to put on some weight. Okay, you might have, but but this is, let's talk about that you're at a point now that you've been at before and, you know, you, you're just tired of that plateau thing and then we're going to talk about how we can overcome the plateau and what we can do differently. Um, then we also want to touch a little bit about how you, um, how often you used to weigh yourself and that you made a big step by getting rid of the scales. And I get frustrated. This is the point where I start getting mad because I keep staying at the same point. I get to the same point all the time, which is like 320, 315, and I can't get any further. So that's when I want to start going back to my old habits, eating my potato chips, my cookies, candy and stuff, because I'm like, I've been doing good. I'll be on program for like a month. And then I don't be taking no weight off. So I'm like, what's the use? Why well, keep trying? Because that's not going anywhere. So you get frustrated after, say how long? You hit, you hit 320. All right, next week, you, you, you don't I'm still at 320. 320. Yeah. Okay, so now, to be factual, we know that the less weight you are, the tighter you've got to get with your process, right? As to how you lose weight. So, eating less calories, more exercise, all that stuff. So, to break, to break through the plateau, I do believe we're just gonna have to do something different than what you've done before to get over it. Tighten up the reins, so to speak, a little bit. Well, what are we going to do different? Because I'm already exercising. I'm already eating different foods. I'm eating the calories that you told me to eat, I think. You think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. eating small, like, say, six small meals a day. I'm trying to do all that. So I don't know anything different that I can do. Um, here's what I propose that uh, we do. And this is going to be something different than what you've done before, possibly. Possibly, maybe not. But what I'd like to see you do is, one, be a little bit more patient with yourself through the plateau. Two, we need to make sure that you're eating the calories that are set out for you. <laughs> I so, can't keep a diary. So, you already know where I'm going. I know, because I know you. Yes. Yes, and, and, and let's let's commit to do this diary for at least four to six weeks. Well, I can't commit to a four to six weeks. You already got me brushing my legs for 21 days. I've already given up bread and sugar for 21 days. I can't keep a diary for four to six weeks. Johnson. I'm going to try. Johnson. Okay, now we're getting there because the can't is... You know that can't send something up my spine that gets hot around my ears. And I was just, messing with you, can't yeah, take it. Yeah. All right. So the can't, can't. Yeah. All right. So the try is a little better. A little better. Okay. What else? <laughs> I'm waiting to hear what's after the try. <laughs> the try. You got rid of can't. <laughs> we're, we're still resting on try. I need you to. Okay, I'm gonna do a diary. I said this. Wonderful. All you right. Do that so. for about three weeks and see. Three weeks. Let's do it. Three weeks. No problem. I'll, I'll go with three, three weeks because six weeks is too long. But I'll take you. Three, I'll take you three weeks. Three weeks of a diary. Okay. All right. And a diary, nothing fancy formal. Just however you want to do it. Just a bunch of pieces of paper. Just a diary. Yeah. All right. And then what we're also gonna do is change up your fitness program or your training. Um, we're going to change up, one, the atmosphere of where you train. It's getting nice outside, it's springtime. We're going to take some outside workouts, take your boot camp outside, add a little bit more work in the boot camp, a little bit of different sort of work. But we are definitely going to change up the atmosphere. So that means us hitting some area parks, 
you know, meeting up in parks. Sometimes when you get a different atmosphere, it allows you to work out differently. So we're going to change that up. What do you think about that? That's cool. All right, you know, so I don't have a problem with exercise, and that's not my problem. I understand that, but we're just going to do both things hand in hand, right? So we're going to pay attention more to what you're eating by doing the diary. But along with that, we're, we're going to, you know, put a little shock into your system with the fitness program, too. So both things will be working at the same time. All right, so we'll start with those two things. Continue the dry skin brushing. How's that going so far? It's been, what, a few days? Yeah. What's today? Today is Friday. It's been five days. All right. Well, it'll be five days tonight. Right. And every night you've been brushing. Faithful. What Since any, Monday. any differences so far? Well, I put on the, I put on my uh, compression hose. I put on my compression hose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got on socks with me today. Okay. Look, I don't think they're doing much. Well, they are. Yes. Compression is um, always good. Uh, anyway, they, I still swell with them. Mm -hmm. But they're not as, I guess. Not as not much as, as they are. Okay. What yeah. about anything else you notice and different with the, maybe because of it? it the dry skin brush is supposed to stimulate, you know, the uh, lymphatic system. So can you tell any? I know it's only been five days, but can you tell anything different as far as you know, with the brushing. No. Okay. Well, we hang in. We be consistent and see if we get anything different. I like that you have started back with the compression, and that's that's really cool. I like that you've done that. So, um, so let's talk about this exciting news. What? Something happened last this past Tuesday. Our second place winner. I told you it was close. Losing 6.0 percent of their body weight. Miss Jocelyn Timmy! Miss Jocelyn takes home $15 with the gift card. Yeah! All right, Casey! Yes! Place in the weight loss challenge. The weight loss challenge at the Lucille Buford Library? Yes. Actually, you know what? I had given up on that. I know. <laughs> I know. I thought, I really thought I wasn't going to come in at all. But then, when I got on that scale, because you know I didn't hit that plateau. Yeah. <laughs> and then I saw, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to do anything. So, Sunday I cooked. And I did some barbecue chicken. So I was like, well, forget it. I started to make a cake. It's a good thing I didn't make that lemon cake. I yeah. was gonna make a homemade lemon cake from yes. scratch. Yes. For I'm so glad I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, I'm so proud of you. Well when I got on that scale and I said yeah. I had a five pound loss, I was yeah. in shock. Yeah. I really was. Yeah. And then when I was sitting there, I was like, ah, I might come in. I probably won't. And then my friends, they kept saying, you probably gonna come in first. And yeah. you know, little short Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> she said, have some confidence in yourself. You probably come in first place. Yeah. I said, I'll probably come in third. I'll take third, I'll take anything, you know. Yeah. So I was, when, when uh, that girl came in third, I said, I might come in first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, the look on your face was priceless. And I knew um, from some of our earlier talks that you had, kind of give it up on winning a place, but um, you did very well throughout the challenge. Um, Jocelyn, I'm just congratulating you. You did an amazing job um, staying consistent. And now that we're talking, I'm wondering if that dry skin brushing may have contributed to that five pound loss uh, over the last week. <laughs> That skin. was only on Monday. Uh, when did you start? I started right? that on Monday. Okay, you ain't gonna get me getting nothing on that, all right? <laughs> but I, I told uh, Jackie, I was like, now she called my name. You're not gonna have to tell me about this chair. I'm gonna jump up. You're gonna jump, yeah, and you that you did. That you did. You jumped right up. So that was cool. Well, I was glad that I won. Yeah. Nothing, not, not to take anything from the winner. Yeah. But I'm gonna kick her ass at the. <laughs> <laughs> 
challenge. A challenge. A challenge. <laughs> okay, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Say, I mean, no, no more second for you. No. Nope. I love it. coming in first. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Good job, Jocelyn. So I'm going to make my tuna now. And, uh, okay. Yeah, get this tuna hooked up. I might not put no sour cream in it if I want to come in first. That's right. I thought we... <laughs> yeah. mm. All right. What else can I knock off this counter? Nothing. <laughs> I want it to taste like something. All right, Jocelyn. Got your protein in there. Oh, the meal is light. All right. You on track? Oh. <laughs> Jocelyn, we were we were laughing about uh, how you walked across the uh, floor to get your prize at the uh, weight loss challenge uh, conclusion. <laughs> you, I didn't you, see it, you, but you, I wanted to make sure I wasn't wilding the talent. Cause you know, when y'all had me on at the store, when we was at, at uh, Hy-Vee, you know, look, now every fat person has that walk to the top and walk. What you the know, top? like the babies, when they first start off trying to walk, and you what they're trying to do is relieve the pressure from off their knees. You know, you know that walk when you're walking like this. You know. Jocelyn, is that how you were walking? Yeah, and like the grocery store. you call it Jocelyn? <laughs> no. So anyway, I told Jackie, I was like, mm. I'm gonna have to walk up there and make sure I don't be <laughs> waddling and toddling. <laughs> so I don't know if I would well, or not. I might have just been excited. I, I call it a swag. I think <laughs> you had a little swag walk going on. That's what I call I it. I just wanted to make sure I posed for the camera. You did. Because I won. You, you know, did. I wanted them to see that. Yeah, at least I won something. I came in. I worked hard for it. Yeah, you did. <sighs> I know one thing. I'm not going to quit, though. <laughs> I'll be right back at this Friday, down here doing the same thing again, and back at Nikki Fitz class on Saturday. Whew. Tired like this, but I'm not going to give up.